Tyree Parker turned himself in. He is charged with murder. News for Jack's reporter Renee Beninati joins us live from Riverside. Renee. Kent Mary, within the last hour, JSO revealed they arrested the man they believe shot and killed Caroline Scholar right here in her own driveway early last week. The sheriff's office says Tyree Parker turned himself in the last night. Now, this comes after an intense week-long search for the man captured in this surveillance video involving the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and members of the Coast Guard Investigative Service. JSO says Scholar was shot when she confronted a man breaking into a car at her home on Myra Street. She was an active duty Coast Guard member assigned to the Hitron unit in Jacksonville, a specialized helicopter squadron dedicated to drug interdictions. Friends and family say she was also a loving daughter, fiance and friend to many. Her father, Pat Scholart, said he was confident an arrest would be made, saying investigators had the evidence. Pressure from the community helped keep the focus and intensity on the suspect. Our homicide team has worked nonstop since the, murder, since the murder took place, following up on every lead and collecting mounting evidence. As a result, the suspect was identified and together with the state attorney's office, an arrest warrant was issued last night. When GSO detectives, patrol officers and, SWAT, uh, and our SWAT um, detectives worked together and sought this suspect out. At midnight last night, the suspect, Tyree Levon Parker turned himself into the police memorial building. He's been arrested for second degree murder with other possible charges pending. This arrest comes on the same day a memorial was held at Cecil Field remembering Scholar's life. Here are photos of the ceremony shared with News 4 Jacks with more than 100 Coast Guard members. Scholar's family is now bringing her home to where she's from near Richmond, Virginia. Now, after Scholar was shot and killed here in her front yard, there has, there has been an outpouring of support from the community. A GoFundMe was created to help bolster the reward leading to the arrest of the man who shot and killed her, where more than $20,000 was raised. We'll have more on this coming up tonight at 6. Reporting live from Riverside, Renee Beninati, Channel 4, the local station.